Hello, I am Carly Ferguson. I'm in HR Compensation. I'm going to go over some general information regarding elementary academic supplements. The first item here will be the contact person that you would want to reach out to for academic supplements. That would be myself, Carly Ferguson in HR. This is my direct email and my direct phone number. Please reach out if you have any questions regarding the academic payments or how to fill out a form. The forms are available on the internet all year around. We will provide you with an email status at the beginning of the school year to let you know that we have updated the forms, but again, you can access them all year around. All of the supplement forms are available, which would include academic, athletic, supplement adjustment forms, etc. Supplements are paid in two installments. It's 50% in December, 50% in June. Um, these are the payment days for this particular year, but again, that will change every year and the information is available on the internet. Once you submit the original forms to compensation, if you have any changes that need to be made, you must submit this PCS form 3-424 with your corrections and I will go over that in another video. Also employees that are administrative or PTS they are not eligible to receive the instructional academic supplements. This is due to Fair Labor, Labor Standards Act. If you have any concerns about this please reach out. This here is the direct link that you can find all the academic and athletic supplements, the schedule and what they pay. This specifically is for the elementary schools and these are the academic listings here. If you have any questions, like I said, please either email me here or call me at this number, which is my direct line, 727-588-6286. Continuing on, the next thing that I would like to talk to you about is the information sheet or instruction sheets while filling out the academic supplement forms. This is geared toward the elementary school. I went over previously the payment dates. Here they are again. Again, these will change each school year. It is important that you fill in the cost center name number on the, um, on the forms as well as the telephone number. So again, the cost center name, the cost center number, and the telephone number in case I have questions so that I can reach out to you. I also need the full and complete social security number of who's receiving these supplements. Please list them out on each form, every single area where they are receiving one. I need their legal name. Um, also too, for the team leader supplements, I get a lot of questions about that. That you can use either a grade level or department and list all teachers within that department. Principal will, or the supervisor, will need to sign off on all of the sheets. Please have an original signature, no stamps, and then you can submit uh, those copies to me through email or through the pony, one or the other. And then we keep a copy in HR, but please keep a copy at your school as well. Points to remember are that if there's ever a situation where there's been a change after the original form has been sent in to HR, I will need a PCS form 3-424, which is an adjustment form to let me know that I need to change something. Supplements cannot be paid to part-time teachers or support staff. This one here is important and it's going over how many supplements that one individual employee can draw. We limit it to two activities. However, if there is someone that is interested in other supplements and activities, please submit them to me as normal and I can see if it will get approval in HR. This is information here that goes over the team leader supplements. Again, this one is where we get more questions about. Um, we just want to have the name of the leader 
and all staff members that are instructional within that team lead group. We pay them based on how many people are in that group, so it's very important to list all staff members. We will accept paraprofessionals under um, a certain group, and for every two listed, we use that as one teacher. So again, this is just general information on completing the forms, but if you have further questions, please reach out to me. Next, we will be going over the elementary supplement collection form. This particular page is for the leadership team member or department chair. You will need to fill in the cost center name, your school name, cost center number, and telephone number if I have any questions to reach out to you. Next will be the team member or lead uh, for that specific department. You will list that person's social security number, full legal name, team name, whether that is a grade or department, and number of members. Number of members would be all teachers within the group plus the actual team member. In order to qualify for this supplement, you need a total of three members within the group. So that would be at least two teachers plus the team leader. The amounts over here and this part is for human resources, but this will tell you how much this supplement is for the year. Please list all of the teachers within the group and their current assignment or department or grade level. Moving down, these are the academic supplements that elementary has to offer and the amounts that HR will be responsible for. One thing to note is there is a specific supplement for the ESE department chair or team leader, meaning that you would not submit this same supplement on the first page, the team leader form. This is the designated supplement for them. You will notice that each page requires the principal signature and date. These again are just some of the supplements and they go on. Certain supplements that are not listed on this academic form but there is a supplement would be Special Olympics, Tech Coordinator Supplement, and Wellness Champion Supplements, also Pro Ed Facilitators. We still offer those supplements, however it's not completed on this form. If you have questions about that, you can reach out to me as well. Next. This is the Supplement Adjustment Form, which is a PCS form number 3-424. This is going to be used if there's any changes to the original supplement forms that were submitted to Compensation HR, and now you have a change. This is the form that you would use. You would fill in the date, the school and department contact information here if I have any questions who I would be speaking to about this. This next part is to tell me if we are adding someone to receive a supplement or if we are deleting someone that was on the original form that will no longer be receiving the supplement. In some cases where you have listed someone on the original form that is no longer doing that responsibility or task and now you have replaced that individual, I will need one to delete the original person on the form and another to add the new person taking over the roles. If someone has started in that role, they will receive a prorated amount and the new person taking over would also receive a prorated amount. Please list their full legal name, the last four of their social, and the name of the supplement. The supplement code number, I can complete that. The start date and end date would be if someone started or ended within the school year. I would need the specific dates on either form, or if they've completed a full semester, you can designate which semester it's for. 
as well on this form we will need the principal signature, the school, the cost center number, and the date. Next, we will be going over the supplement schedule. In particular, it, this is for the athletic seasons. This will change every year, but again, this will be available on the intranet under supplements. This is the season dates here, and these are the pay dates when we are paying them. We come out with this every school year. This is just general information to you. If someone contacts you in regards to a payment and maybe they have not received it, please reach out to me and I will look into that um, person's record and make sure that we have all the necessary paperwork and work on getting that person paid. Again, if you have any questions about the supplements, whether it is academic or athletics, please reach out to Carly Ferguson in HR Compensation. Telephone number is 727-588-6286, or you may email me at fergusonca at pcsb.org.